Well, North Korea announced on Wednesday afternoon that it has successfully tested a hydrogen bomb in the morning. But most defense experts around the world seem to doubt the North's capacity to have fulfilled its claims. This has drawn immediate reaction from the international community. Our, also, our Wu Suyang tells us more. The U.S. won't accept North Korea as a nuclear state. That's what the White House said on a statement regarding North Korea's alleged hydrogen bomb test on Wednesday. Although Pyongyang's claims are yet to be confirmed, Washington condemns any violation of UN resolutions and it will protect and defend its allies in the region as well as respond to any provocations. North Korea's closest ally, China, also showed firm opposition in a daily briefing at its foreign ministry, denying any prior knowledge of the alleged experiment. China will firmly promote the denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula and insist on solving the peninsula nuclear issue within six-party talks framework. British Foreign Secretary Philip Hammond, who is currently in a two-day visit to China's capital, Beijing, said that if the test reports are true, it is, quote, a breach of UN resolutions and a provocation he condemns without reservation. He also told reporters that both the UK and China oppose the test and want to see resumption of UN six-party talks for the North denuclearization. There can always be more done to strengthen and tighten the way sanctions are applied. Uh, and I would urge all of our partners to ensure that they are applied as consistently and effectively as possible. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe also slammed the North's claims. North Korea's nuclear test is a serious threat to our nation's security and absolutely cannot be tolerated. We strongly denounce it. France and Australia have also joined global condemnation of the alleged nuclear testing, while Russia's foreign ministry was more cautious with its statement. It called on all interested sides to preserve maximum restraint and to not take actions that could rouse the uncontrolled growth of tensions in Northeast Asia. Oh Young, Arirang News.